Welcome back to NetSuite Sneak Peeks. Today we'll explore enhancements to the dashboard. My name is Kim Holman and I'll be your guide as we explore the next version of NetSuite. Here you can see the home dashboard. Before we jump in, I'd like to remind you about something we talked about last time. Progressive disclosure. As you might recall, this simply means that some things won't appear on your screen unless you take a particular action, like hovering your mouse. This is going to be an important concept to keep in mind as you start to get familiar with the new NetSuite environment. There's no way around it. You might find yourself looking for screen objects that don't seem to be there. So keep this concept of progressive disclosure in mind. You might just need to click a plus sign or hover your mouse over an object on the screen. Take the portlets, for instance. Those are the little windows that you see on your dashboard. The flat look and decluttered layout is all part of the new design. So what's missing? The old portlets had options on the title bar like setup or refresh. Not to fear, those functions have not gone away. Remember, there's no change to basic functionality with this new release. To reveal those options, I simply have to hover my mouse over the various title bars of the portlets. Next, let's look at the new visual tool for personalizing the dashboard. The Personalize option is conveniently located above the portlet. When I click it, the visual tool is displayed. This replaces the old Add Content pane that used to appear on the left and uses icons as well as portlet names. The visual tool is divided into sections here on the left. And I can click these arrows to scroll through my options. Next I'd like to demonstrate adding a portlet to the dashboard using the new drag and drop functionality. I'm going to drag the list portlet to the dashboard. I hover my mouse over the portlet title bar to reveal the setup option and click Setup. I'm going to type Item to select the item list type. And I'm going to uncheck the Allow Inline Editing checkbox so I don't accidentally edit any items on my dashboard. Now I'll click Save. And there's the items list on my dashboard. Now let's say I don't like this location for my items list. Rearranging the dashboard is really very easy. As I demonstrate, please notice this new feature. I grab the shortcuts portlet with my mouse and move it. And the target zone for where the portlet lands is now the same size as the portlet. Let's scroll down and look at my Tasks Portland so I can show you another example of progressive disclosure. First, notice when I hover my mouse over a row, it gets highlighted. This is a new feature for any list. And other options are progressively disclosed, like this option to create a new note. Let's say I don't want to see my tasks right now. I just click on the title bar to close the portlet and click again to open it. Let's take a look at one more feature of the dashboard. I'm going to scroll to the top of the page and I'm going to close the visual tool by clicking on Personalize. Now take a look at this other option right here to the left, Portlet Date Settings. Notice that this only affects report snapshots, trend graphs, KPI meters, and KPIs. If you don't have any of these on your dashboard, you don't need to worry about these settings. But if you do track KPIs, or key performance indicators, you can select a date range from this list, and the date range on all of your portlets will be updated. So that's an overview of the new features of the dashboard. Next time, we'll take a look at lists and answer the million dollar question, what happened to list views? See you then!